Hi guys, just a quick overview of serankin.com, what it does, the pricing of it, which you can see just now. So it's an SEO tool that does the same as many other tools do, keyword tracking, website auditing, on-page checker, backlink checker, backlink monitor, um, and it's keyword grouper and a whole bunch of other features in here which are really good. But you're going to ask what makes this tool stand out. So I'm going to go through some of the standout things for me. Now, bear in mind, I've not put all of my data in it just yet. I'm just playing around with it and thought I'd share a video with you guys. So first things first, um, this is a dashboard. You create your own project. Make sure you select the right database for um, where you're looking to target. UK is my primary place. Then it would obviously be America. But in terms of rank tracking, you can also add in Bing and stuff like that so that you get your rank tracking all in one dashboard and you can see the ups, the downs, the keywords and, and everything else on there um, alongside the search volumes, any kind of dips from day to day and all that kind of stuff and I think most important thing here is you can see the day to day difference of your rankings which I feel is quite important. Now that's great um, from a rankings overview you can look at historical data, you can go into it in a more detailed format there as well. Um, you can just dig a bit deeper here. Um, now over and above that we can always look at our analytics and traffic overview snippets google search console data if you connect it the seo potential of your website so we can see what the kind of potential could be for my website um, both bing and uh, google and you can add other search engines there you can also look at your competitors now i've put in some different guys and uh, we can see me compared to same rush compared to neil patel to to compare to search engine journal backlinko and fat rank and you'll be able to see what's going on and that's me there you can see the other guys there and we can look at average position traffic forecast search visibility percentage in the top 10 distributor uh, competitor distribution so we can have a look at the competition keep an eye on them and look at a whole bunch of other stuff there now it's also got a marketing plan in here as well and you can basically make yourself a to-do list so you can obviously audit your website look at your content analyze competitors keywords and give yourself a to-do list on here one of the main things that we all fail to do um, is make a good structured list we always forget parts of it so another key little feature there um, but you can also audit your website we can look at the you know crawl comparisons we can look at everything else that you know is potentially wrong with your website as most audits do as well but the great little thing here is you can get an overview and you can see stuff about core web vitals it obviously needs a bit of improvement um and you know there's pages with no inbound links tells you when your domain's expiring um and all of that kind of stuff there so we want to make sure that you know we've got a lot of our pages indexed which we have uh, several response time page depth number of redirects detached pages all of these things you can use to your benefit very quickly and very easily but again you can dig a bit deeper um, and also look at the, the page changes and um, you can monitor what's going on with that which again if you're using staff to do a lot of these kind of things then you can monitor your pages so if you're outsourcing a lot of this work i think it's quite important that you do see what's been changed and whether some of those important title tags have been changed whether it's keywords whether it's header tags whatever it might be you can see the changes in this dashboard here and again that's something that stands out um a country mile you know it's an all-in-one tool here and it's doing quite a lot for you but you can also see crawl comparisons and um, crawled pages and everything else to be able to identify any potential problems and obviously if your money pages are not being crawled you can quickly identify this from this dashboard as well so for me it's really good to to have a lot of this stuff all in one dashboard you can look at your backlinks domains anchor text pages all of that kind of stuff and 
it also plugs into your social media so you can set up your social media here um, and you can auto post to your social media and um, so if you wanted to create a post and you want to add it to uh, you know on whatever date and, and all that kind of stuff you can add that post and you can schedule your post from here you can look at your Facebook metrics your Twitter metrics and everything else to see how everything is going from one dashboard because I think again trying to collectively get all of this into one dashboard is important and um, so I'm absolutely loving SE ranking just now not only as a rank tracker because going back to the rank tracking um, you know, you do have the ability to add in different uh, search engines. You can, you know, different databases and everything else. So I think, you know, going in to create a project, um, project name, search range and all that kind of stuff. You can add in different keywords, different search engines, different competitors and pull all your analytics in as well. So quite a a lot of different things get on there and as I say I think also with the page changes and everything else that SE ranking does this is a great tool that's worth looking at um, and you can build reports and everything else from this as well so you can generate a report select a website I'll just select mine create a report and you can put whatever you want on here and um, table of contents rankings you can report on what you want to report on and you can add your own bit in here as well and um, you know if you wanted to add in a bit of a title there and, and some text and an image add all of that kind of stuff in and create a report pulling all of that data and reporting on whatever you choose to report on into to kind of one place there as well so um, you do have all of these other kind of things here keyword grouper parameter checker, um, search engine autocomplete and all of these kind of good little tools as well where um, you know you can see all of these kind of things you can see there's price per query and everything else but keyword grouper is another one that I think um, you know it, 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 you're using tools to, to put your keywords into buckets and or clusters um, and that and, and it's using data to make these decisions so you know you want to use data and Google's understanding of clustering to be able to do your SEO and, and, and you know build topical clusters so SE ranking really is a great tool with a lot of good unique selling points so do check it out on the link below just thought I'd give you a brief overview and uh, never be ignorant to tools I've been ignorant to tools many times and never stood me in good stead because tools are always evolving and doing things to get the you know the edge over their competition and SE ranking is a very very good tool that you should be checking out guys